Hello lovely beans, welcome to a new video. I have decided to enter into the Foundations Revealed competition this year and I'm taking you along on the make of my project. The theme is Once Upon a Time and my chosen character is Ronja from the children's book Ronja the Robber's Daughter by Astrid Lindgren. I'm using a beautiful dark green needle cord and this is Macal's pattern number M7626 and we'll be also adding embroidery along the top edge of the bodice and on the straps. So without further ado, let's go! Now, while cutting the pieces, I paid attention to the fabric, to the placement on the fabric and the fabric use and the seam allowance. But not to two other rather important details. Have you spied them, perhaps? Here's some scissor ASMR while you think. I labelled the back and side seam location on the back panels of the skirt. But here you can already see one of my mistakes on these pocket parts. Not only did I cut two identical pocket pieces unintentionally, they should have been mirrored, but this is also where I realize that the cord is obviously directional. The mistake with the identical part is fixed easily enough by just cutting another mirrored piece. I'm using fat quarters from my stash for the lining of the bodice and have to piece a little bit to make things fit. Okay, so a quick interjection. I've put pins in the front 
of the stra shoulder straps um, marking kind of the way how they're going to be sewn to the front bodice um, so I can kind of just know where to put the embroidery because if I'm going to put the embroidery on here and it's going to end up on the wrong side or on the wrong just wrong I am going to bite myself so hard so yeah mark the front edge here the way it's supposed to be going in and I'll be lined like I'll be using some of the scrap fabric here to put like um, a little bit of interlining for the embroidery to have some stability behind it so that's the plan for now and uh, we'll see how it goes The ladder stitch will always be my favourite way to fixate darts, it's just so convenient. Yeah, I'm wonderfully in frame here. The straps are attached first at the back of the bodice, which I'm pinning here.
And now enjoy my struggle as I finish the darts, which I have not at all been procrastinating. Definitely not in the way the instructions intended. Not that I did anything like the instructions intended in this project. Well, almost. For reasons, I didn't get any footage of attaching the straps at the front, but I did get this detail of how I made the facing. The pockets on this dress are fantastically large and also on an angle rather than fully on the seam, which was interesting to sew and I also got to use some more of the fun lining fabric on them. The skirt is gorgeous and flowy and swooshy, but this definitely needs a trim. I MacGyvered it to roughly the intended length, plus a generous seam allowance. When I started this project, this was the part that was worrying me most, attaching the skirt and bodice to the waistband. Wasn't too bad though in the end.
For the zip, I went completely off script, which in hindsight was definitely a mistake. And I may go back and correct that at some point in the future, along with some other issues that I have noticed in the back, as you will see later in the, in the video. For now, I think it's quite wearable. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making the dress. If you did, it would be amazingly helpful and much appreciated if you would like and subscribe, if you haven't already. It would really help out the channel. That's it for me for now. Wherever you are, have a lovely day. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.